From across Maryland, Virginia, and the district, this is Washington's 24-hour local news leader. News Channel 8's Live This Morning starts right now. Welcome back. Uh, a new drug to fight prostate cancer has just been approved. It is a vaccine, and it is only for the most advanced cases. And here to talk more about this breakthrough is radiation oncologist Dr. Anu Gupta. Good to have you with us today. Thanks Thank so much you. for coming in. Prostate cancer, it affects a lot of men of a certain age, I guess as they get older. How big of a problem is it, doctor? About 200,000 men every year get diagnosed with prostate cancer, and about 30,000 men will die of prostate cancer annually. So it's not a small problem. No. And is it curable? Um, for, well, it depends on what your definition of cure becomes. Uh, prostate cancer generally has a very long natural history, so the true definition of cure becomes a little difficult because it's generally a disease of older men, as you know, and older men tend to die of older men diseases. Heart disease is obviously the number one killer. So are we curing prostate cancer? I'm not sure I could clearly say that. We're definitely slowing it down and letting men die of whatever they would have died of mm -hmm. naturally. But if you catch it at an early stage, it's more likely that you could if you're have some young, treatment that would be yes, have a positive yes. outcome. Oh, definitely, yes. And there are a variety of forms of treatment, surgery, radiation treatments. Mm -hmm. um, those are the two most cure, the two curative forms of treatment. There, then there get, we get into a variety of other um, not so curative treatment options, but um, uh, but there is help for people. There is definitely yeah. help for, for people. Talk about this new uh, treatment. Yes, and this is a breakthrough. It's just FDA approved, and it's right. a vaccine. Tell yeah. us about this. So there have been vaccines developed for the prevention of cancers. We all know about the cervical cancer vaccine. Mm -hmm. Now that's to prevent cancer. This is actually the first time a vaccine's been approved to treat a cancer. And the reason it's significant is the other treatment options available for men with advanced stage prostate cancer was chemotherapy. So this vaccine has been shown to actually improve their survival by about four months, which may not sound like a lot, but the other treatment option, the chemotherapy drug, has only improved survival by two or three months. So this is a big breakthrough. Um, what this vaccine does is uses the patient's own blood cells and they tie it with a particular protein and give it back to the patient to basically stimulate the immune system. Okay, so, so, so each person's treatment is different from the next? Well, the, the process in which the vaccine is developed is the same for each patient, but it's using its patient's own blood cells as opposed to other vaccines that are mass produced in cultures and things like that. Sounds like it could be costly. It is very expensive right now. And um, again, what, what is, are we talking about? We see very um, well, expensive. Well, there's the, the estimates run about $90,000 per patient. No, so, 90,000? Yes. yes. So this is not something that's going to be widely available. The question becomes how is insurance going to deal with it? So does insurance just, cover it? Um, well, now that it's become FDA approved, um, the insurance companies are going to have to look at the issue because yeah. now it is approved you know, a treatment. So how, to what extent are they going to cover it is going mm -hmm. to become a big question. So using the body's own cells mm -hmm. to kind of stimulate them and turn them on to kind of attack the cancer within the body, this is kind of, is this kind of the new leading edge for cancer treatments? I, I, this is a big breakthrough, yeah. frankly. This is really, um, using patients' own body cells is not that new. We do that with bone marrow transplants too. Um, but this is the first time they've used a vaccine patients own blood cells to develop a vaccine to treat a malignancy. So um, it, yeah, this is a big breakthrough. How far it gets, you know, time will tell. Yeah. It needs to still be further tested, developed, tried against other treatment options such as chemotherapy. Yeah. But Which to, has severe side right, effects, so perhaps. Right. And the side effects from the vaccine supposedly right now are just like typical vaccine side effects, flu-like symptoms, fevers, chills. So it seems to be relatively well tolerated. Okay, good to know. Yes. Very interesting study and new treatment, Dr. Anu Gupta. Thanks so much for coming Thank in you. today.